With the Canadian Open fast approaching, one of the biggest tournaments of the US Open series, and of course the biggest tournament since Wimbledon, if we're going by points and prize money. Let's go have a look at the players that are not playing this event because we've had some massive names pull out over the last couple of days. So starting on the women's side, Anstra Burr, she's pulled out due to a knee problem that she's had for a while, so the Wimbledon finalists will not be playing in one of the biggest tournaments leading into the US Open. Of course, she is the finalist from last year at the US Open as well, so has a lot of points to defend. On the men's side, Pablo Carino Busta's pulled out, the defending champion of this event. He won it last year and a bit of a random result. Unfortunately, still battling an elbow injury, so he won't be playing and he's also not playing in Cincinnati in a couple of weeks. Nick Kyrgios also pulling out of another tournament. He's played one match this year. Had to pull out of Wimbledon, of course. Hasn't played since the end of last year, so another massive tournament missing Nick Kyrgios. And Novak Djokovic, he is the biggest name pulled out of this tournament. Of course, the Wimbledon finals as well. Hasn't played Canada in the last few years, so no real surprise, I guess, to most people, but he will not be playing in Canada this year, even though he's allowed to, because last year, of course, he wasn't allowed to play Cincinnati, Canada, or the US Open at this time. So there you have it. Huge names there. The defending champion, Pablo Carina Busta, and then Djokovic, Kyrgios, Jabir. Massive names. And that's only the start. We have plenty more time until the tournament starts. This time next week, will be underway, and of course, more names could withdraw. There's a lot of players playing this week as well, so we'll keep an eye on what happens with those guys and girls, but let me know down in the comments below. Who are you going to miss the most at the Canadian Open? Of course, we've still got massive names playing. Of course, Alcaraz is going to be playing. We've got Daniel Medvedev is going to be there as well. So, you know, we do have some of the biggest names. Fiontech, Sabalenka, Rabakina, the big three are going to be there for the ladies. So, it's not going to be a massive miss, I guess, with some of these names, but of course, Djokovic being the biggest name, not playing Canada yet again. It hasn't played there for so long. Let me know down in the comments below. Who are you going to miss the most out of this tournament?